This is the way to create an amortization table for a loan. We have a loan here of $400,000. The annual rate is 3.75% and the number of years is 25. We are going to calculate the payment and then create the amortization table on the right. I'm just going for to create the names in column B using formulas create from selection. And now I can calculate the monthly payment of the loan. I'm going to use function financial payment. The rate is 3.75 divided by 12 for monthly. The number of period is going to be the number of years times 12. And for the present value, we're going to use minus the loan. So for the next 25 years, I'm going to double click for autofit. We are going to pay $2,056.52 a month. You can see the formula in A. Eight. So we now what we have to do is calculate the monthly payments, principles, interest, and balance for the next 25 years or 300 month. In uh, column E, cell E2, I typed one, and then I can go home, fill, series. If you have a Mac, go to Edit Fill Series. We are going to go down the column and stop at 300. So this is going to type 1, 2, 3, all the way to 300. If you use Control arrow down, you're going to see that we have 300. The payment date is any date they're going to start the payment. So maybe I'll assume that we are going to pay our first payment on... Uh, January 1st, 2016. You can start anytime. And this is going to be the payment date. And if you double click here, it's going to do it to carry it down from with the autofill January 1st, January 2nd. Of course, you want February 2nd. So you, when you double click, you're going to see the autofill menu that comes up and you'll say fill month. And then it's going to say January 1st, February 1st, and so on and so forth, using the autofill menu. Even though you pay $2,056, most of the money in the beginning is going to be accounted towards the interest, not the principal. So we are going to calculate the principal, we can say function, and use the PPMT function. It looks almost identical to the payment function, except it has a period because it's going to change from period to period. So the rate is the original rate divided by 12. The period is the only thing that changes from month to month. The first time it's going to be month one. Next time it's going to be month two. Number of periods is the same. We're going to click on the years times 12. And the present value is minus the loan. So even though you pay $2,056.52, the principal towards your balance is only $806.52. We can calculate the interest the long way by saying that it's going to be equal to the loan at the beginning times the rate divided by 12 because it's only for the first month. And it's going to be $1,250, except we don't want to use this formula. We want to use the extra function. We are going to use a function called IPMT. You're going to click on function and look for the IPMT function, which is the interest part of the loan. You're going to click on the rate divided by 12. The period is changing from month to month. You're going to click on the month. 
the number of periods is the years times 12 and here you're going to have minus the long. We calculated it the long way except it's going to be painful to do it for every month so we use the IPMT function which gives you the same result. So if you notice in the very beginning the interest part is very high the principal is low, I can just double click here and take it all the way to the end. And you'll see as you move along towards the end, control area down, double click for the auto fit, you'll see that towards the end the interest part is very low and the principal is high. And if you live in a country where you can use your interest as uh, an expense towards your annual taxes, you can select the 12 months for that particular year like I have here, and use that sum towards your annual expenses where there are certain places or certain countries where you're allowed to use the interest towards your income tax. The last thing we want to do in this amortization table is calculate how much money do we owe the bank at the end of every period. So for period one, it's equal to the original loan minus the principal for, for, for month one. And even though you paid uh, $2,056, you only paid the bank $806 as principal. And then for the second month, you're going to calculate and say it's equal to last month balance minus the principal you paid in the second month and you can double click and get it for the rest. And if you go all the way to the end, you'll see that after 300 months or 25 years, the balance is zero. So this is the way to create an amortization. This is the solution to the amortization table exercise. We have a loan of $30,000 that we are going to pay back on a monthly basis for three years with an interest rate for 5%. The exercise is asking to name the cells in column B by the ones you see in column A. We are going to go to formulas, create from selection. And we are going to only calculate the monthly payment for the next three years or 36 months. We use the same function called PMT. This is the rate divided by 12. The number of periods is the years times 12. And we are going to use minus the loan. So for the next three years, or so 36 months, we are going to pay $899.13 a month. We are not going to calculate the total payments and total interest. It's not part of our exercises now. Now what we want to do is type here the month. We're going to say 1, 2, all the way to 36. We can just go home, fill, series. If you have a Mac, you can go to edit, fill, series. You go down the column and stop at 36. And hit enter. So it's going to type 1, 2, 3, 36. The payment date is the date you're going to pay for the first payment. So you can say, for example, April 1st, 2016. If you have a different operating system, you can maybe type 1, 4, 2006. 16. And when you double click, it's going to say April 1st, April 2nd, April 3rd. And of course, you can use the autofill menu and just say fill month. So it's going to say April 1st, May 1st, June 1st, and so on and so forth. Now we're going to calculate the principal for each one of these payments. We're going to use function and use the PPMT. The rate is the 5% divided by 12. The period is changing from month to month. That is the only thing that is relatively addressed. The number of periods is the number of years times 12. 
and we are going to say for the present value minus the loan. So for the first month, the principal is $774.13. I can calculate the interest, which we can use a formula to say that it's equal to the loan times the annual rate divided by 12. But this is a long way of doing it. It's $125. We are going to use the actual Excel function, which is going to be the IPMP the interest part of the payment, and it's going to say the rate divided by 12. The period is cha changing from month to month. Number of periods is going to be the years times 12. And again, minus the loan. You can select the two of them and double click and it calculates for you the principal and the interest for the next 36 months. What is the balance at the end of the first month? It's going to be the original loan minus the principal. And for the following month, it's going to be equal to the balance of month one minus the principal here. And then you can just double click and get the rest of them. And you see towards the end, you owe the bank zero. So this is the solution of the amortization